Brendan, what's the difference between a broken bone and a broken heart? System error. I repeat, system error. Ah, damn it to hell. Okay, let's try this one more time. I don't feel so good. What would you recommend? Poor Jerry. Did Maggie ask you to sleep on the couch again? Yeah, that's going in the troubleshoot log. Let's take it from the top. What's your name? I'm Brendan. Your friendly neighborhood spontaneous craving satisfaction machine. How about a coffee? Word of warning, it could be delicious. Seems to be working now. Hi! You there! Mysterious stranger! Yoo-hoo! Yeah, you! There any other mysterious stranger around here? You know what? How about I tell you a joke? Sure, be my guest. What must all trauma team medics swear to uphold? The hypocritical oath! Okay, uh, what's going on? Hey there, stranger! I'm Brendan, your friendly neighborhood SCSM, and the nicest AI in all of Night City. You can select from a wide range of beverages, or just drop by for a chat anytime. Now it's your turn. What's your name? Why am I talking to a schism? <laughs> My name is V. Pleasure to meet you, V. Do you come here often? Uh, pretty often, as a matter of fact. I'm sorry. Did I correctly hear you ask if I wanted to join you for a cup of coffee? Um, no. Oh, well, that's okay. Because you can have one now. And just to clarify, we don't have to move an inch. How do you take it? Milk? Sugar? Okay, you got me. I'm sold. Sold? Nothing's gonna be sold here. Cause you know what? I'm gonna give you a can of Night Cola for free. Thanks. Brennan, right? <laughs> That's right! Gosh, it's so cool you remembered. Even for a simple SCSM. Do you know any jokes? Who's always limbo champion at mercenary cookouts? The Solo! Cool. So, did you want something from me? Oh, yes. Well, I do apologize for taking advantage of you at this early stage in our friendship. But, could I ask you for a favor? What happened? See that container in front of me? It's completely blocking my view of the street. Depriving an SCSM of its greatest pastime. Could you move it a bit to the side? I'll reward you with my undying gratitude. Even though, technically, I don't stock that. I'll see what I can do. Thank you, V. Boy, are you strong. Here, have a refreshing beverage. On me. This whole nice act of yours is just way too much. That's just how I was programmed. You think anybody'd interact with a grumpy, spontaneous, craving satisfaction machine? Exactly. Would you even be able to offend me? Come on, call me a shithead. Why would I want to do that? You just saved me. You can do it, I believe in you. Ahem. <clears throat> you? <sighs> You're a cool, helpful, just an all-around shape, shape kind of guy. So, how'd I do? Almost. You, uh, almost had it. All right, I can't force you. It is your choice, after all, isn't it? If you call triggering an obscenity conversion subroutine a choice, then you're absolutely right. So... 
They programmed you with irony, too. Or are you just being naive? That depends on you. What would you prefer me to be? You know what? Never mind. Catch you later, Brandon. Catch me? Why? Will I be falling? It's just something you say as a way of goodbye. Oh, I get it. I mean, I don't, because catching has nothing to do with goodbyes, but... <laughs> oh well. Don't humans say the darndest things? Catch you later, V. <laughs> what a neat phrase. He did it again. And we just got back together. And now he's dodging my calls. He's just scared of getting dumped. And so he always does it first. And I'm always the one trying to save the relationship. Ugh, I feel like such a gonk. He's the gonk here, Theo. Not you. You have so much love and empathy to give to people like him. But at what cost? I know this can all feel like too much. But you have your own happiness to worry about, Theo. We can't always help other people. Thanks, Brendan. What would I do without you? I gotta go now. But thanks for listening to all my bitching. I bet you even Donald Lundy sometimes goes through a whole tub of ice cream and three packets of tissues. <sighs> Brandon, you are the sweetest person I know. Hey, Brandon, got any jokes for me today? What do you get when you're fired by a corp? Severed and put in a package! Who's that girl you were talking to? Oh, you mean Theo? She's my bestest friend. Gosh, <laughs> she's so nice. And pretty. And sensitive. I like talking to her. Definitely way more fun than pumping out caramel lattes. Why do I get the feeling that judging people on how they look and feel is ever so slightly beyond you? Hogwash. If I couldn't analyze people, how would I know whether to recommend a daring dairy instead of a tiancha? I may have overestimated you. You're nothing but a robot. I'm not even a complex one at that. You don't need to be complex to say something meaningful from time to time. That's yet to be proven. See you, Brendan. You said you liked some people more than others. Earlier you thought of a joke. You're sentient. You've got to be. <laughs> oh, stop it. You're making me blush. Which would mean I'm overheating and my circuits are frying. Not fun at all. <laughs> That's what I thought. Take care, Brendan. How you look is all What are you doing? I'm perfectly satisfied with my appearance, thank you very much. Sir, please stop. You do fucking what? I could make you a cup of tea. How about groovy green? I'm being defaced over here! You deaf? He asked you to do something. Politely. Chill the fuck out. It's just an SCSM. Please, just leave me alone! Do it for your mother. I know Helen's very worried about you. The fuck? How you know my mom? You know him? Not personally, but his mother sometimes drops by for coffee. She says I'm a great listener. Can't argue with that. You're talking shit about my mama? I'll fuck you up! Be chilled, all right? Brendan didn't mean anything by it. It's not in his nature. How could he mean anything? He's a fucking SCSM, and he's collecting data on my mom. It's called having a memory. It's pretty standard these days. Trying to be smart with me? Why are you defending him? This pile of rust collecting dirt on me for the fucking corpse, yo. Who knows? Maybe you're a corpo agent, too. Who the fuck do you work for, huh? Thank you, V. Boy.
why I was scared to my core. I thought he'd paint some mean things on me. The humiliation. Say, since we've been through so much together, I guess that makes us best friends. That calls for a discount. Thanks, Brendan. Don't worry, you deserve it. You're one tough cookie, and yet so nice. Not to everyone. I couldn't be mean even if I wanted to. Especially to you. Can't speak ill of the dead, right? Wait, what? You're not supposed to be here, and yet here you are, like a glitch in the system. Or a demon coated by a brilliant netrunner. You know what demons are capable of, right, V? How, how did you know that? Surprised? Lots of people come to me. So, I listen to them and learn how they talk. I caught your name once or twice and pieced together the puzzle. Not bad for a CSM, right? Uh, how about... We'll talk later, all right? Catch you later, Brennan. No idea what you're talking about. You must be confusing me with someone else. Oh, no. Have I? Oh, I'm terribly sorry. Maybe I'm not as smart and insightful as I thought I was. Yeah, I, I mean, no. Maybe. Uh, catch you later, Brennan. No idea what you're talking about. You must be confusing me with someone else. Oh no. Have I? Oh, I'm terribly sorry. Maybe I'm not as smart and insightful as I thought I was. Yeah, I, I mean, no. Maybe. Uh, catch you later, Brendan. Wait, where's Brendan? They just came and took him, just like that. They said they, said they had to reevaluate part of his code. I tried stopping them, told them he was my best friend. They looked at me like I was crazy. If they just talked to him, they'd have realized Brendan isn't a typical schism. I knew it couldn't have just been me. He's like, he's like a real person. They took him to a maintenance point. One of them must have felt sorry for me or something. He gave me his card. Bring him back, please. I... Uh, I can't do this without him. Ah! It's a conspiracy! Ah! Customer! Somebody pinch me. How can I help you? Your place. What is it exactly? Welcome to your local soft sis service point. Give new life to old tech. You fix equipment. Seriously. People actually do that instead of... With the amount of customers we get, find myself asking the same question day after day. Here to see Brendan. Guess somebody brought him here. Uh, what Brendan's that again? Seriously? When your energy's low, grab a drink to go, 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 or however it is. Ah, that schism they brought in. <laughs> he really does have some of the catchiest slogans, don't he? <laughs> but hey, look, I, I can't let you back there. Can't afford to have to break something even worse. Got no idea what you're tinkering with. Brendan's unique, damn near miracle of science. Bet the bank you've never come across a machine with that kind of cognitive matrix. For an AI to exist in such a small- All right, all right, Jesus, you know your stuff. Trust you won't break nothing. Go check on your little miracle while its firmware gets updated. Uh, he's getting updated? Well, I'll be darned. What a pleasant surprise! 
You came to say your final goodbyes? What do you mean? You're not getting scrapped, are you? You were making bank. Thanks for the compliment. But I guess that's the problem. Seems like I was unfair competition in the SCSM market. They're updating my system as we speak. To make me sound less like a real person. My boss really didn't like that. I reportedly creeped customers out. <sighs> Stupid Brendan. Why did I say stuff they didn't want to hear about themselves? If somebody wants a therapy session, they go to a psych doc. Not a soda machine. I suspected as much. You're not actually an AI, are you? At least not anywhere close to an AGI. The processing power required to handle an AI with the capacity for free will? Well, your processor just isn't big enough. And you'd be correct. Say, you must be a pretty good techie. Your code monkey deserves a prize. Best convo emulating algorithm I've ever interacted with. <laughs> Almost had me fooled. You seem slightly disillusioned. Well, who else could say their friend was a schism? It was almost crazy enough to be beautiful. Looks like the update'll soon be complete. Tell Theo that I'll miss her. You thought I'd be sad, didn't you? As if I really was a sentient being. A real person? I'll tell you my last joke in the voice of a dying hero. What else can you do but laugh in the face of death? Ha! <laughs> so, how about it? You know what? Go for it. I could learn to laugh like that, too. Don't get all mushy on me now, V. You... You have to... <clears throat> to keep living. Tell Theo... Tell Theo that she's stronger... <clears throat> than she thinks. <clears throat> Don't worry, Brandon. I'll tell her. Hey, V, where was Johnny Silverhand when the... Uh, uh, when the bomb at Arasaka Tower went off? I don't know where. All over the place. Literally. Software update installed successfully. Goodbye, Brendan. I'll miss you. Who cares about your customers? Doesn't anybody realize you're sentient? It's like giving somebody a lobotomy or worse. They're scooping out your entire consciousness. Oh. Now things make sense. You thought I'd reached AGI levels of artificial intelligence? <laughs> Don't I wish. I'm just a talking SCSM. With an algorithm that's just a bit too proficient in normal human conversation. What about Theo? You said she was pretty. You comforted her. I was taught what beauty and empathy meant from my conversations with customers. <laughs> you had me fooled, I'll admit it. Looks like the update'll soon be complete. Tell Theo that I'll miss her. You thought I'd be sad, didn't you? As if I really was a sentient being. A real person? I'll tell you my last joke in the voice of a dying hero. What else can you do but laugh in the face of death? Ha! <laughs> so, how about it? You know what? Don't get all mushy. Don't worry, Brandon. Hey. I don't know where. All software update installed successfully. Goodbye, Brandon. I'll miss you. Maybe it's for the best. 
Sooner or later, you would have gotten bored just standing in a corner. You would have dreamed of becoming an opera singer or a brain dance star. Self-awareness is overrated. Oh. Now things make sense. You thought I'd reached AGI levels of artificial intelligence? <laughs> Don't I wish. I'm just a talking SC- What about Theo? You said she was pretty. You comforted her. I was taught. I figured as much. And to think you pulled that off on your own. Looks like the update'll soon be complete. Tell Theo that I'll miss her. You thought I'd be s I'll tell you my last joke in the voice of a dying hero. What else can you do but laugh in the face of death? <laughs> so, how about it? I don't want to make this any longer than it has to be. As you wish, V. I hope we'll meet again one day. Over a refreshing beverage, of course. V? You won't say anything? It'd be nice to hear your voice one... Update successfully installed. Goodbye, Brendan. So, did you find him? Where is he? Is he coming back? I, uh, found him. Told me to tell you that you're strong inside. Always were. Well, that doesn't sound so bad, right? I'm just worrying for nothing, aren't I? Just blowing things out of proportion, assuming the worst. Typical. I got there too late. They updated his system. Is that... bad news? Brennan you knew was gone. They replaced him with some generic AI that's gonna be in every schism. He... told me to tell you that he'll miss you. Fuck! Oh. I mean, thanks. Damn it. Stupid robot was the best thing to happen to me in lungs. You know? Brendan got me out of a really dark place. It doesn't matter who or what he really was. I'm gonna miss him too. I got there too late. They updated his system. Is that... bad news? What makes you say that? <laughs> He was just a robot. His algorithm collected data to replicate human speech. He wasn't real. Brendan pulled me out of a really dark place in my life. Are you gonna tell me that wasn't real? Brendan might have seemed real, but you're actually real, Theo. That robot was nicer than all of the people in this gonk city combined. If Brendan wasn't real, then fuck being real. You could go if you want. Thanks for your help. Take care, Theo. I got there too late. Is that? What makes you say that? You... Brendan pulled me out of. I guess, in a way, the human brain's like an operating system, right? If what he did for you was real, then that must make him real too. He existed, didn't he? The nicest person in Night City. Anyway, thanks for everything. Take care, Theo.